Welcome everyone. So everybody here is having a good time so far? Yeah? Good, good. We're almost getting there. Getting warmed up after a great lunch. So um, yeah, an interesting story. So today at lunch, I had the steak and the chicken. So one time at the buffet line, uh, the server asked me which one I wanted. And when I said both, the server looked at me kind of strangely and was like, why would you want both, right? You already have all this meat. But that's what WeWin is here today to present, because we have a whole spectrum of products, ranging from OCP, Project Olympus, and Cluster Manager, as well as 12 volt and 48 volt variations, all on display on our booths. And I will give you a good overview in my presentation, so stay tuned and help you enjoy and gain some knowledge from this. So uh, last year at OCP, we really witnessed the growth of OCP ecosystem. You know, ranging from the partnerships, from the technology at the fundamental level, and all these business connections intercrossing. And just in one year, really, the industry has really seen the rise uh, in the age of AI just this past year, just application-wise, the whole industry. And that's really what, as we've seen uh, even today's expo and all around you, even in the news, the media, that AI is really driving the, for the industry forward. And this driving force, as you can see here on this chart, okay? Oops, can you see? Let me, uh... Okay, so starting from the applications of AI, um, you know, various like deep learning, machine learning. And what is driving that underneath that is the infrastructures of these applications. So in these infrastructure serves your building box for your AI applications. And also an interesting category is the demands of, um, of, of the evolution of the data center, which haven't really changed over the years. Because you've seen the fundamental demands are such as performance, uh, power, cooling, and data storage uh, in the data center. These are kind of, um, you know, time and time again, we'll see these demands are driving the evolution of technology in the data center forward. So where does WeWin fit into all of this? We, when we really provide the infrastructures of the data center moving forward. Oops, excuse me. Okay. And how are these infrastructures and at WeWin organized? So the first one is the OCP rack, of course. This is a big theme, uh, as always, in open compute. As well as in our booth, we have the Project Olympus. We have a full-size rack there. You can go check it out with the new products uh, within the rack. And we also bring to you, very interestingly, the Compute Accelerator, which has the AI application, uh, serves the AI applications as we all know. Okay. Cool. So, uh, so based on these three building blocks, what are the specific infrastructures we have on display and that you can actually touch and then see for yourself? So we have the Tioga Pass and the Yosemite version two as well as Bryce Canyon, uh, that rounds out our OCP 12 volt machines on display. And for our Project Olympus, we have the Compute 1U server, and as well as a new all flash storage utilizing ruler stick concepts, which you can actually uh, take out and insert back in. You can check it out, the ruler SSD form factor, um, how that works in our booth. And rounding out the last two for our computer accelerators, we have a what we call a Dr. No G1 and a Dr. No G2 generation two. And these serve as powerful compute accelerators that can be hooked up to uh, multiple hosts to run your uh, various AI applications. So this is a basic view of how our boost looks like. And funny enough, it's how it's organized, um, how we, the, the three categories I mentioned. So the first one is we have 48 volts on the, that'll be on your far left. So that's a live demo there. You can see how the 48 volt half rack um, is being powered and shown in a live demo that it's around yeah, 48 volts for the power. And as well, we have OCP products in the front line, uh, namely the Yosemite version 2, you see the Tioga Pass, and also the Bryce Canyon in the middle. And we have the two compute accelerators I mentioned, the Dr. No G1 and G2 lining in the back. Okay, and then as well as it has a live demo, you can see the throughput uh, performance of the G2. And we have Project Olympus, the full-size rack there. And from the side, if you 
from the um, yeah from the right side, you can see our new uh, F2010, which is the ruler SSD 1U unit. And finally, we also present software solution, which has cluster manager with Intel rack scale design, uh, utilizing the latest rack scale design of 2.3, and the main feature of NVMe over fabric, which you can check out. We, uh, we have a live demo for you as well. So starting off with the 48 volt rack, this is the basic GUI. If you go to our booth, uh, you will be see, see the powers consistently around uh, generally around 48 volt, and it's really it's getting that from the sensor management data. So you can check out our booth over there, and you can be able to see uh, further details. And then going towards a little right on our booth, you can see the compute accelerators in the back. And this is a 4U2 drawer. Uh, it has eight GPUs in each drawer. Now, a good cool functionality is one of these drawers can fit two, two Tioga passes, so it is, essentially turns from a JBOG into a GPU server. Okay? And um, as well as it can just serve as a JBOG connecting to one, two, or four hosts. And a total of 16 GP GPUs if you just want to put purely GPUs in this box. And it utilizes the, um, the latest PCI 4.0 uh, technology. So that is the, that's the cutting edge uh, difference between this and previous PCIe 3.0 uh, GPU technologies uh, we're, we're seeing around the market. So as well on our booth, we have the live demo. And as you can see, this is um, OS uh, view. So just uh, testing the, uh, the throughput of the PCI 4.0 box. So you can see how the throughput um, is ramped up as you, as you run these uh, throughput tests. So yeah, more details right over there. So please, please, please come to our, our booth. Check it out. And finally, moving on to the Project Olympus rack, we have uh, the SD5100, which is the ruler form factor I discussed. And this is, uh, as you know or aware of, the Microsoft rack has its own rack management. And this one new form factor fits into the rack smoothly uh, via bind mate. Uh, connection with its standalone CPU, and it's also front I/O serviceable, uh, which is congruent with the Olympi uh, Project Olympus uh, design. And then, as you can see, there's 16 uh, uh, ruler SSDs in the front, and each one can actually just hold the Intel uh, form factor of ruler SSD, or it can fit four M.2 SSDs. So there's two variation of SKUs you can experiment with, and this is really for storage and data intensive applications utilizing uh, NVMe if you need that kind of speed for your storage, JBOF. So uh, for ours, uh, in the next, moving on forward, we have the Intel rack scale design. Uh, and we have several infrastructures that are all compatible. And RSD supports this uh, wide spectrum of infrastructures. So starting with the Tope Vault, we have the Tioga Pass, we have the Bryce Canyon, and Lightning. And you know these are typical building blocks in your data center. And then we also, uh, RSD supports 12 volt, 48 volts, and 19 inch. So we win offers uh, full coverage for RSD so far. And uh, yeah, it's coming with also the compute accelerator and the, nine, the 19 inch multi purpose server. So we have the whole thing around 12, 12 volt, 48 volt, 19 inch. So here I'll give you a short video of the latest RSD 2.3 and which is the highlight of the NVMe over fabric technology. Welcome to a Lumen's introduction of RSD 2.3 where we compose a node with NVMe over fabric drives. So welcome to the GUI screen of Lumen's RSD 2.3 and you can see an overview of uh, all the rack including the nodes inside. And here we see an overview of the processor, memory, uh, network and drives information of a particular node. And in this feature, we want to highlight the NVMe over fabric pool, as you can see here. And in, in this next step, we'll compose a node in which we can uh, create an NVMe pool out of the available NVMe uh, pool capacity we have available. So moving on, now let's specify uh, which rack that we want to extract a, or compose a node from first. So let's just select this item, for example, click on next. And for our capacity here, we can specify, uh, for let's say 100 gigabytes, and do next, and finish. So just with a few clicks now, 
we have our NVMe pool. Okay, so here we want to check uh, the compose node to see if the specifications are what we specified earlier. So we can see here our compose node, a processor, memory, the network, as well as uh, the NVMe details. And let's boot up the system first because NVMe over fabric, we should be able to see after the system has booted our desired NVMe. So log in, we can see that the NVMe drive has been attached, but it's actually 100 gigabytes in capacity. And we could delete the node like with one, one click, very easy. And so we see back in our NVMe pool, all the storage NVMe has been restored. Okay, so you saw uh, from that way how the NVMe, um, the, the, the amount of capacity you want from the pool can be allocated out, and if you delete the Compose node, it can be returned. So check that out, latest feature in our live RSD demo. Okay, and what RSD is really driving is the software defined data center and in various uh, three major categories or applications. So the first one is just cloud services, right? So for example, how would RSD and WeWin Cluster Manager, which is our in-house software GUI, overlaid on top of Intel, Intel Rascio design? How does that work? So let's say for cloud service, you need X amount of computing power, Y amount of IO throughput, and Z amount of storage capacity. So using our WeWin Cluster Manager GUI, you can allocate specifically the amount of power and throughput and storage you need. Okay, and then that'll create the Compose node. And what benefit does this offer is scaling up dynamically and optimizing for your workflow. So you get an amount of resources uh, that you need, you know, just the right amount. So you're not uh, encountering un underutilization. And as well as big data analytics has its own various needs, maybe like larger storage capacity uh, and such. So you can tune your Compose node that way. And similarly for AI, you would need a lot more computing power. So you can allocate a lot more resources that way to your Compose node. And if you feel like you don't need it, just pop it back into the pool. And thereby rounds up our disaggregated and composable rack solution. So, and, um, so yeah, coming down the line is uh, just actually in about 25, 30 minutes, uh, Sun Lai Chang, our senior VP and chief technology officer at WeWin, will give an executive talk about the four fundamental demands I mentioned earlier, really about performance, cooling, power, and data. So please check out that talk, because these four talks will highlight the four workshops we have, and we is very excited to bring with you from our engineers tomorrow. So the first one would be the performance, and specifically tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m., so we'll have a high performance scalability. So this is the PCI Gen 4 performance. Um, Jackie Hung, our director at WeWin, will be able to present this talk to you and you have any Q&As, uh, you can face-to-face -face have a deeper conversation. And next, similarly with the power, uh, we present the two-stage 48 volt solution and John Lin, our director of uh, power at WeWin, will be able to present those details to you as well. So they're all very excited. And thirdly, uh, we have the cooling solution and also the two-phase rack level. And Lentis Pai, our associate director of, uh, of the mechanical and thermal, uh, we went will be able to present that for you. And finally, to round out uh, in terms of data, Ted Peng, our senior director of software, will show you how to apply uh, big data analytics to manufacturing applications uh, that we have uh, the capability uh, because we're right doing that right right at the front level. So these test reels for DRAM module, he'll be able to present. Uh, these results to you. Yeah, so for, uh, so I hope you at attend these workshops and get a better view of what we're, where WeWin is going in the future. And to really round it out, um, so this is a very exciting time that you've seen how AI is driving. And just recently, uh, going to some social events, I've noticed something interesting. Just, uh, just even talking to just, uh, you know, kind of people not in the tech industry, uh, people have really Seeing like where where like find out where do you work what do you do yeah, typically and it's in the data industry or I say data or kind of big data AI you know they say oh, that's really cool so not only is this age of AI coming uh, to terms right now I feel like enterprise made electronics or these things are actually becoming more mainstream and people are accepting it and think it's really cool so uh, it's a really privilege to be in this industry and I'm very excited to meet all of you and be able to speak to all of you and 
WeWay gives a big welcome. Hope you come to our booth and our talks, and thank you very much.